Good evening and welcome to our Holy Week service. Our theme this year is the hands of Holy Week. Tonight we focus on arresting hands. Let us pray. Eternal God, we give you thanks for you are good and your mercy is endless. Here we are on the Monday of this Holy Week, the week in which we remember Jesus' passion and death. We are distracted by many things. Turn our eyes now to the one who comes in your name, the one who opens the gates of righteousness, the one who answers when we call. Thank you for sending your Son to us in human frailty to walk the road we walk. Amen. When Jesus had finished praying, he left with his disciples. They crossed the Cedron Valley. On the other side, there was a garden. Jesus and his disciples went into it. Judas knew the place. He was going to hand Jesus over to his enemies. Jesus had often met in that place with his disciples. So Judas came to the garden. He was guiding a group of soldiers and some officials. The chief priests and the Pharisees had sent them. They were carrying torches, lanterns and weapons. Jesus knew everything that was going to happen to him. So he went out and asked them, who do you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said. 
Judas, who was going to hand Jesus over, was standing there with them. When Jesus said, I am he, they moved back. Then they fell to the ground. He asked them again, who do you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they said. Jesus answered, I told you, I am he. If you are looking for me, then let these men go. This happened so that the words Jesus had spoken would come true. He had said, I have not lost anyone God has given me. Simon Peter had a sword and pulled it out. He struck the high priest's slave and cut off his right ear. The slave's name was Malchus. Jesus commanded Peter, put your sword away. Shouldn't I drink the cup of suffering the Father has given me? Amen. Thanks be to God. Tonight, we focus on arresting hands. We saw waving hands yesterday as Jesus was welcomed into Jerusalem by these palm branch waving crowds. Now we take a leap to Thursday evening. Following his last supper with his disciples, Jesus goes to Gethsemane. There he accepts the will of God. This is the point of no return. No sooner does he come to his great decision than the quiet of the garden is broken by the trample of feet, the clank of arms and the shouting of men. And so the drama unfolds. There's the traitor's kiss. Then comes Peter's desperate rearguard action, defending his master and friend. And now the arrest. We focus on Caravaggio's painting, the taking of Jesus. It's quite a painting, housed in Dublin, but coming on our screen now. So let's have a look. The setting of this painting is, of course, darkness. So we have lightened it just a little in order to see the detail. Caravaggio tells the story through faces, but even more so through hands. Furthest left, we see the disciple John running away in fear, his hands in the air. At the top of the painting, a hand holds a lantern. In the middle area, we see the hand of Judas digging fiercely into Jesus' arm. And then there is the hand of the arresting officer, protected by metal. The metal covering of his arm dominates the painting and invites you and me to see ourselves reflected in the metal. Yes, we are in this painting. Not just onlookers or bystanders, but active participants in the arrest of Jesus. Our sin, our selfishness, our lack of love, all these things demonstrate our separation from God and the need for Jesus to save us. We are participants in this arresting drama. But there's another pair of hands. Do you see them? Right at the bottom, strongly lit, are the linked hands of Jesus. Resolute in non-resistance, tensed but peaceful, ready to receive what the Father allows to happen. What a painting!
At the beginning of our service, we sang Graham Kendrick's beautiful hymn, Meekness and Majesty. In Caravaggio's painting, and in the events of that bitterest and starkest of nights, the meekness and the majesty of Jesus are seen in perfect harmony. So yes, let's bow down and worship, for this is our God. Let us pray. Hands who touch the leper, touch our wounded hearts. Hands who healed the blind man, heal our aching souls. Hands who cured the lame, mend our disjointed lives. Hands who embraced all life, enfold us in your peace. Because of Jesus. Amen.
may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore. Amen.